Hello everyone and welcome to Access. My name's Nathan. This is Dave. Hello. Dave, the video that we're currently in is called Five Reasons You Must Play Diablo 3 Ultimate Evil Edition on PS4. It is. I it, have played it. And, it's, you, and you must. It's true. And it's a long title. So I've, I've thought of some reasons to justify it. Yeah. Number one, because we've, we've been playing it. That's what you're seeing now. And the stuff that you're seeing on the screen right now basically looks and sounds like war. It's just yeah. like this just carnage. And because of that, reason number one is that on PlayStation 4, Diablo 3 is 1080p and 60 frames per second thank what, god what do you think about that i think it's amazing and perfect a game like Thanks. this a game where i couldn't blink I, I don't think i blinked for 20 minutes whilst we played this section of the game yeah um or breathe really yeah like you need to see that in all its glory you won't miss any of those 60 frames exactly and especially when there's so many characters on screen at the same time especially if that's, you're playing four player yeah that's the real point i mean you, like you need all the 1080s I mean, I've been playing games for a long time and back in the day I used to play games like the, Ca the Chaos Engine or Arcus Odyssey on the Sega Mega Drive no one knows what I'm talking about but <laughs> you'd go around a corner with like two characters and it would judder and slow down this thing is insane it's yeah. like and you got four we're playing four player co-op here um, there's a lot going on and you need that. You need those P's and those FPS's you do indeed so and I want to see all the magic at 60 frames and I want to roll around the screen at 60 frames using the right stick because <laughs> I can um, and one of the, so number two is one of the other things that the Playstation 4 can do that no other form, format that this game is available on can do and that's something you got to do remote play using Playstation Vita damn straight I did and what was it like? it was fantastic it was it's, like it's one of those games that just it looks so good on the Vita yeah I, I wish it was sort of native on the Vita. It would just look so perfect. Some people have mentioned that. But, the, uh, you know, like, I mean, um, you know, Remote Play is available on just about everything. Um, it works brilliantly with some games. And yeah. then others, you know, I do want to play on the TV, yeah. if, if we're honest. But this one, uh, Diablo 3, the reason I mention it is because um, you don't always have to, be, you know, there's, when there's tons and tons going on screen, there's four, four of you, maybe not the best, but it's you can just carry on grinding, building, yeah. looking, looting, and just it's, doing it's, stuff. It's one of those games more than many I think where you would you know someone might come in and say I want to watch something on TV and yeah. you really would be like well I'm going to carry on playing because there's show. a chance you'd have been playing it already for 10 hours exactly <laughs> that's why and, and I need and, that loot don't want I need that stop. loot um, number 3 I'm going to kind of explain I'm using number 3 Dave I'm, yeah. using, I'm, a, I'm a user I'm okay. using it to explain what uh, Diablo 3 on Playstation 4 is really and it's because it's the, the Ultimate Evil Edition which yeah. includes this is why you need it on Playstation 4 because it includes um, the Reaper of Souls expansion pack which is uh, which came out on PC a little bit after the main one which isn't available on um PS3 in the same in the same box, uh, which comes with a Crusader class and like tons and tons of other stuff. Yeah. The other thing is with as with any uh, Blizzard game, um, they are constantly updated and patched. Yeah. Um, and basically, this uh, the Ultimate Evil Edition is going to be patched up to um, 2.0 to uh, 2.0.5, um, which and you know when they, when they came out with the expansion, which is when we we, we work at Yogscast and mm. one day I was walking down the corridor. And Simon kind of popped out of his office and screamed, they've made Diablo 3 good! <laughs> and that's because they, they're constantly improving it. And this is a way the console, you know, this is going to be bang up to date. Yeah. That's basically what we're saying. Um, uh, yes. Um, and number four, this is a bumper one, Dave. This right. I could have made this into more than one entry. Yeah. But I haven't. Go there on. are some PlayStation exclusive things that you get in the Ultimate Evil Edition. Oh, there are. There are. I and like these. I'm going to say the word transmogrification to you. I wish. I wish that you would. I did. Thank um, you. Because there's two. There's two things. They're based on uh, PlayStation existing PlayStation games. So one of the things is the Shadow of the Colossus transmogrification set. Right. Do you know what transmogrification is in terms of Diablo 3? I have absolutely no idea. Really? No. <laughs> it's um. So it's a way of custom the way that you look without changing your stats underneath so you can okay. wear you can wear the same armor but you transmogrify it's just aesthetic it looks different you're yeah. just changing how it looks but it, it does the same job exactly okay. and one of the things now you can get is uh, the guise of the colossi oh. um, which is a, a transmogrification set which gives you kind of I think it's six armor sets which are based on bosses from Shadow of the Colossus yeah. you're seeing one on screen now I think these look amazing uh, he, this one is based on the first boss, I believe. Yeah. I've tried to black out all the memories of playing, of killing these things. I know. Other I know. Why did I do that? It's yeah. weird seeing like a giant yeah. now really small. I know, normal size. Yeah. I wonder if he has a little tiny horse like a mini running yeah. around his feet. <laughs> a mini horse that he can be scared Trying of. to take you out. Um, and the other thing is uh, the Last of Us Nephilim Rift. Nephilim Rifts. Oh, the rifts are they're like loot dungeons. They're right. kind of they're randomised. They're not part of like. Um, uh, they're they're not set areas, so you you 
uh, you collect a bunch of um, collectible items and then that unlocks like a go in one of these things because right. then you get tons of stuff and there's different enemies and layouts to each ones and now thrown into that mix are the Last of Us themed um, areas yeah. but they're, they're Diablo environments but they're given a yellow spore look okay. atmospherics uh, and crucially as you can see on screen they have um, enemies from the last of us just right in the game uh, so oh. you get clickers bloaters and stalkers yeah. uh, and you'll be able to do magic upon them I still have bad memories about those guys they're coming back on Playstation 4 as well Dave. I, I mean in two ways now I know it's really really exciting um, and number five uh, this one's rubbish this one's just for me but it's, it's not rubbish it, I played as a witch doctor as you can see on screen well, yeah. you, among the melee um but um, I have various zombie powers as a witch dog and you can do a thing called zombie pylon which is um, where you construct a tower of zombies which then fall on people and there was a point which I thought I was going to ruin the game just because I was doing it all of the time yeah. because in the um, this is the, the, the gameplay we've had running through all of this is we got our hands on the E3 demo um, on PlayStation 4 and so because it's a demo and they want people to enjoy the game um, very easily they're massively overpowered all these characters um, so yeah there's my zombie pylon which I intend to do it's like a tidal wave like a it, zombie tidal wave yeah it's more like a collapsing tower of zombie acrobats did you have but the giant zombie giant guy yeah. helping you as well and by the magic of editing here he is I must have did spent like that? about five <laughs> minutes trying to kill him when I didn't realise he was your friend <laughs> to begin with well he didn't mind he would not go down I tell you he didn't mind and that's the other thing about the witch doctor he's got loads of zombie powers yeah so I'm looking forward to unlocking some of them absolutely Come August the 19th which is when it's out nice did you see that that's not your first time bang no it's not thank you for watching this video do stay tuned to PlayStation Access for more news not just on Diablo 3 the Ultimate Evil Edition bots on loads of other stuff like this video because it helps us out and comment because sometimes we like to hear from people sure